Stage 3 of the Momentum Medical Scheme Tankwa Trek presented by Biogen is dominated by the Merino Monster. The 1000 meter ascent from the Sirius Valley floor to the summit high above is arguably the most iconic mountain bike climb in the country. It makes the day the undoubted queen stage of the race. But before the riders take on the infamous monster, they have to negotiate the Detroit drop, a twisting single track descent, and race across the scenic Cirrus Valley. With technical and climbing challenges on the cards, there was no doubt that there would be a crystallization of the general classification. Only 75 thousandths of a second separated the Bulls Heroes and CST post NL Bafang, while Dunster Racing Megatech were third 50 seconds back. In the women's race, Fairtree started the stage with a 2 minute and 44 second advantage over Faces CST. Domokaba Blue were third on the overall standings, 3 minutes and 10 seconds behind the leaders. Given that the Detroit drop comes only 15 kilometers into the stage and that positioning into the drop is essential, stage 2 started with a bang. DSV's Gert Haines led the men's field down the single track. On the jeep tracks that followed, the race regrouped, but Sebastian Finney and David Norderman found themselves in a spot of trouble. The CST post NL Bafang team were caught behind a split and had to slowly close the gap. By the start of the old Tronsberg wagon trail climb, the favourites were all together, though the group was strung out by the narrow track. Sensing an opportunity, the Bulls heroes put their support team on the front to drive up the pace. Martin Frey and Simon Sneller laid the platform for what was to come. At the foot of the Merino Monster, only Cannondale Factory Racing, Piger Eurosteel and the Bulls Heroes remained at the front with Schneller. While CST post NL Bafang were 30 seconds off the pace, accompanied by Tristan De Lange and Alexander Miller. None of the leading teams could match Enrique Avancini and Manuel Fumic when they accelerated on the steepest pitch of the monster. The Cannondale Factory Racing pair rode away to claim the King of the Mountain prize, but behind them the general classification battle was unfolding. Finney and Nordemann caught the first ascent yellow jersey pair of Urs Huber and Simon Stibian just after the summit. Accompanied by Simon Schneller, the four then raced down towards Kaleo. Ahead of them, Avancini and Fumic claimed the stage win that had eluded them thus far in the race. For nearly 15 kilometers, it looked as if the general classification battle would come down to a sprint for second, but it wasn't to be. Finney suffered a rear wheel puncture with less than five kilometers remaining. That allowed Huber and Stibian to comfortably take second on the stage and extend their overall lead. In the UCI women's race, Nadine Rieder was the main protagonist for the second stage in a row. The German fair tree rider split the women's field on the lower slopes of the Tronsberg Pass, but Doma Kaba Blue were the first riders over the summit of Merino Monster. Robin de Groot and Adelaide Morath rode home stage winners and moved up to second on the general classification in the process. Mariska Strauss and Candice Lill finished second, ahead of the GB cycling pair of Isla Short and Annie Last. Fairtree's Jenny Stenog and Nadine Reeder fought back from puncture to finish fourth, hanging on to the pink first ascent leaders' jerseys. Heading into the final stage, the Bulls heroes have a two minute and two second lead over CST post NL Bafang. Dunstan Megatech remained third, nearly four minutes back. The women's race is delicately poised ahead of stage four. Fairtree still lead, but their advantage is just 33 seconds. Dormacaba Blue are second and faces CST third, a further four seconds back. The final stage of the 2020 Momentum Medical Scheme Tankwa Trek presented by Biogen boasts the event's most spectacular trails. Cut through the wind-weathered rock formations of the Hodenbeck Farm, the race truly saves the best for last.